right? So let's let's select the red and red and brown out of these. And what we'll do is for one of them, we have to have it, yeah, that one is just enough so that it reaches. So we'll just use one. Is at the minus of the 12. Mm -hmm. So you just have to simply pay attention to it. So when we have the red, first of all, we have the male pins go. So we start at the male pins. Red is going to go. We're going to connect the red to the N plus. So strip it and solder it. And then the brown to the N of the negative using the male ones on one side. And then the female ones. Each one is male and female, but the one that goes to the the plug is is the male one. The one goes to the other end is the female. So you need two of these per one. So you want to set up. That's the explanation. So you want, okay, let's round them up. Two, four, six, one more. Yeah. Why is there a thing? Okay, so we got more. I'm gonna put this online. Yeah, you are the best. It seems like we're being fortunate. Yeah. Which is hot and cold. Okay, so what you're doing right now is just extending them. Black for hot, white for cold. No, black for cold. So black is the equivalent of brown. Black is always got it. So what's happening right now, we're just extending these, right? We're That's making all. connections onto that, and we need to solder to that. So, so let's take the first ones. So we've got strippers. So we need side cutters and strippers. Negative. 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 The red, I mean, that's easy to remember. So let's start with these. Red is hot. Uh, so we said we're plugging this into the power supply, right? The, the two terminals. So we'll cut off the other end and strip it. So these, this thing is convenient for stripping. You can grab both of them at the same time. Yeah, he's stripping. There you go. That's a stripper. So then we turn on, turn on one of those. That's getting hot. You can read the temperature there. How hot does it need to be? 680. 680. What's it? Right, right now. 520. 520. That's Fahrenheit. So not super hot. Oh, okay. Okay, so you got you got your solder. So what you do first is you want to tend these a little bit to to make them stick together. So just get some tin on them so, so they stick together and they're easy to get through the hole and make it thin enough that it's it can go through the hole so you take one of them and the input so in minus so let's say um, but also what we do is this is heat shrink before you do that before you put it on we want to heat shrink it to to protect that little bit of the exposed part you got 12 volts um, it's good to do that so you'd want to you'd want to yeah can I have the the blue ones the small ones here um, have goggles on this because I mean you can get spatter off this thing or like poke your eye or something it's, it is hot so plug it into N plus, so that's going to be the red. I actually have it going out through the front because it's laying against the control panel. So work on the front. So you stick it through the hole, and it didn't really. Yeah, it goes through. Um, and then, before you do that, put put on your heat shrink because you cannot put it on afterwards. You can, but you have to split them, which is it's fine. You can split them. More work. So put them enough away so they don't get hot. So once again, <clears throat> in negative, in positive rather, for the red. Oh, there it is, in positive is there. So red to the in positive, and you can just solder it. So you can just take that and get some solder on iron and plug it up. Bam. 
Mm. And that's that. On that one side. On that side. Yeah. Did you? Oh, got some loose. What are you saying? We got the loose strand. Yeah. I broke it off. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you do want to do this stranded. The observation there was we had a little tiny strand hanging out. If that strand touches something else, it might just blow this thing. So do pay attention to that with stranded wire. So you put that in still just a little bit there. So I'm going to cut it off. I hardly see it there. The, right, yeah. There it is. So cut off that little dangling. So in negative. Once again, just uh, bend it out and solder it. So get some solder on the iron and touch that till it melts. You can see kind of ball up, like bubble up on that. Yeah, and it's a solid connection. At the end of the day, you want to just trim all that off, but that probably do that at the very end. But that's what you do, you trim that off. Now for here, you would want to cover that up. Well, there's hardly any exposed there anyway, so I'm not sure how necessary these things are but if we are using it it's a heat gun pretty hot and that will shrink up on on your shrink up on your wires and protect them all this length strip it again split it Uh, twist it, solder it to, to make it stick together. So we'll get a little on the other side. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so once again, but we kind of said we don't need them, but. Um, let's just do it anyway. Yeah, actually, if you put in, yeah, if you stick this in all the way, I mean, none of the metal is sticking out, so it's like these are a little extra here, like that's going right up to it, so you don't really need to. Need to. So out, negative, that's the brown, and then the positive is the red. A little big, so I'll cut it on. Okay, so solder that one more time. Yeah, so like that. And then you kind of pull on it to see if it's solid, it is. Cut off the excess wire. Now, the, this is... So did we do it right? Uh, visual check is that the reds are on the same side and the browns are on the same side. Flip it over to the other side. And when you look at the back, yes, the out plus is on the red side, so that's good. Are your male and female pins on the right side? The correct side? The right side, yes. So out. The outside is the male headers, so female pins on yeah, here. Headers, yes. Mm -hmm. And on the input, we're plugging into a screw down terminal which is that now this little cover came off i noticed so put that back on yeah that can come up so yeah keep that cover on so that is it just lay now it that's down. that's not the last step yet because this is not adjusted for a particular voltage. There's a little screw terminal that we adjust and observe what the output voltage is. Or maybe 
better yet, let's do a yeah, I'll just slide and run, run it. There's a little screw terminal down there, and that's where we need those ceramic screwdrivers. Oh. The tiny little ceramic screwdriver. Can you screwdriver. hold that face up? Like that. Yep. That's that. Mm. That's that thing oh. over here. This right here. Well. Oh, what do you want? No, it's good. It's oh. good. He's gonna. He's gonna yeah. adjust. So after we wire up the rest, and we'll, we'll continue on the wiring while these people work here. You plug it in, and then you read the output here. How do you read it? Well, it's there. It's actually convenient to use one of these, maybe, and extend them, because uh, that's you can't get at that. So let's say uh, plug something in there, like your other wires, or get some other wires. But so you're setting it on voltage and just reading the voltage out of there, and you can adjust it fully from zero to twelve volts. Oh, wow. Well, we won't read anything right now, but what you do here is you turn the power on. This is voltage DC, like on you know, put it on twenty volt rating, and then you're you're taking your leads and just touching them. So so it's kind of you adjust a little bit, and then you say, okay, what do I, what do I got. You touch that and then read it. I mean, right now it's zero because there's no electricity there. Mm -hmm. So you read the voltage uh, using the voltmeter. Uh, and then if it's not the right thing, how much voltage do we want out of this? Five. Plus Five. minus what? Five. Five plus minus point one, let's say. Twelve. Zero point one. Make it two. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's the magic value so two people here 